We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you. In the quaint town of Victorian London lived Ebenezer Scrooge, a miserly old man with a heart as cold as the winter wind that swept through the cobblestone streets. The air was filled with the festive spirit, but Scrooge, with his disdain for joy and generosity, remained immune to the Christmas cheer. On Christmas Eve, as darkness cloaked the city, Scrooge huddled in his gloomy counting house, the clinking of coins echoing through the empty chambers. His only companion was the ghostly sound of carolers singing in the distance, their melodies floating through the crisp air. Unmoved, Scrooge dismissed them as mere nuisances. However, the spirits had different plans for Scrooge that night. As the clock struck midnight, a haunting figure materialized before him, Jacob Marley, Scrooge's long-deceased business partner. Laden with chains forged from a lifetime of greed, Marley warned Scrooge of the impending doom that awaited him unless he changed his miserly ways. Terrified, Scrooge was visited by three more spirits, each representing a different aspect of Christmas past, present, and future. The ghost of Christmas past took him on a journey through his childhood, rekindling memories of warmth, love, and simpler times. The ghost of Christmas present revealed the joyous celebrations happening in the present, even in the humblest of homes. Scrooge witnessed the Cratchit family's modest feast and Tiny Tim's undeniable spirit, despite his physical frailty. Haunted by the ominous ghost of Christmas yet to come, Scrooge faced the chilling reality of his own death, unloved and unrecognized. The grim specter pointed towards a neglected grave, sending shivers down Scrooge's spine. It was a revelation that shook him to his very core. Transformed and desperate for redemption, Scrooge begged for another chance. Awakening on Christmas morning, he realized the power of his own agency to rewrite the script of his life. The once frozen heart thou wed, and with newfound purpose, Scrooge set out to make amends. As daylight broke over London, Scrooge, now a changed man, rushed into the bustling streets. The familiar sound of Christmas carols filled the air, but this time, they were more than distant echoes. They were a symphony of joy that resonated within Scrooge's rejuvenated soul. In a burst of generosity, Scrooge donated to charities, showered the Cratchit family with gifts, and spread kindness to all he encountered. The townsfolk, initially skeptical, soon embraced the transformed Scrooge, and his story became a beacon of hope for those in need. That Christmas, the carolers who once sang in vain outside Scrooge's counting house found themselves invited inside, sharing in the warmth of newfound friendship and goodwill. The once cold heart of Scrooge had become a vessel for compassion, and the Christmas carols that once fell on deaf ears now found a receptive audience in a man reborn. And so, the streets of Victorian London echoed with the harmonious strains of Christmas carols, not as distant melodies but as a testament to the transformative power of the season and the redemption of a soul once lost. We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas And a Happy New Year We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a 